I'm going to show you the secret fourth boss on Loop Hero. So this is actually like a super secret. So what you got to have is you need a temporal beacon, a beacon, a vampire mansion, chrono crystals, a battlefield, and an outpost. Also, this cannot happen while the boss is spawned. So whatever map you're on, you're going to have to... You can do it before the boss. You can do it after the boss. But if the boss is on the map, these won't appear. So when you get all these lined up like this, you'll see these little sparks right here. And you have a chrono crystal next to the road with an outpost across from it. You're next to the chrono crystal on the side of the road. You're going to need the battlefield and the vampire mansion. And then in range of the chrono crystal behind it, you're going to need a temporal beacon and a beacon. I haven't tried changing the order of like if one's in the middle and one's on the side or what. If they just need to be in the square or not, I don't know. But those are all the buildings that are required. I haven't tested removing every single one of them, but I tried removing Battlefield, Vampire, and different ones, and, and it makes this thing go away. So what happens is there's these blue sparks here, and you're also going to need an Oblivion card. So when you see the blue little things appearing right there, you take an Oblivion card, and you use it right there. And then it creates a dimensional rift. Are you ready to face what lies on the other side? Also, I have uh, cheats on right now, so the game speed's going to be super fast when I move right there. Okay, so it pops up this stuff. Okay, it's kind of like an Easter egg in the game. And uh, I, I've been, I believe this is supposed to be like the four people who made the game. This is supposed to be them, basically. So I'm going to read what it says. We are the true creators of this world. Our existence predates even Alpha, and now you have found us. You may ask us anything you want. I do actually have a lot of questions. Why there are no forks in the road? Why do I look the same in different armor? And how can I even see anything if there's no sun anymore? Let's talk about the sun first. You see, the lich deprives the environment of numerous conditions, including the laws of physics, forcing it to exist as if everything else never existed. If we deprive this particular place of every source of light, but there are still sighted creatures left inside, the structure of this enclosed space's existence will create false conditions in which there is no light, but the, create the creatures are still able to see. <clears throat> so why doesn't the fire blind us then? Well, the truth... It's too complicated for a mere mortal to understand. Maybe we should just kill him then. Yes, I agree. That sounds reasonable. Okay, we're gonna go fast here. So, uh, the Deceiver. This guy, right now, for me at least, has 18,000 HP. It does A6 damage, whatever. Pacifist. Against the warrior, always the first target in battle and receives double damage. Uh, grind. Health is equal to number of monsters slain on this save file times two that's why he has so much hp uh so if you played the game for a really long time he'll have like a million hp item lover minus two percent health for each empty slot in the camp supply i think i have like eight items on or something i forgot to take them off before this actually so i don't know how much you can reduce the, i don't know how many slots there are in the camp supply but it's probably enough to take his health down by like 50 to 70 percent i would think maybe 100 percent. i don't know uh and then deadline 100 percent attack speed when health is lower than 20 percent now we got this guy, Finlal. He only has 815 HP. Gullible against the rogue, always the first target in battle and receives double damage. Speed run, plus 1% attack speed for each occupied title, or tile in this expedition. Uh, so he's going to have pretty good high attack for me. Yeah, 127%. I have a lot of tiles occupied on this one. Casual, minus 25% defense for every for each chapter after the first one. Not bug, but feature. When health reaches 1%, either gives up or gets plus 100% HP and fully heals. Then we got Blinch. Got 2000 HP for me. Teamwork. Always the second target in battle. Bunny Hop. Evasion is equal to loops completed in this expedition times 2, not more than 50%. So right now he is at... I'm on 8, so 8 times 2, 16% evasion. Musica Universalis. Uh, question mark, question mark, question mark, attack power, question mark, question mark, question mark. Procrastination. 30% chance to skip his attack. And that guy's already dead. I couldn't even show you the last one. I don't know if I can. I can't actually probably beat this with my build right here. So uh, I, I'll have to see if I can beat him and add to the video. If not, we're just going to, that's going to be all there is for this. Uh, so this is the secret boss that you can try to beat. And uh, it's basically an Easter egg in the game. It's supposed to be the four people who made the game, I'm pretty sure. And uh, that is how you summon it, uh, those five, six buildings or whatever it was uh, in the order that I showed you. And then an Oblivion on the tile. Uh, you can prep for this however you want. You can do as many loops as you want before you do this. It's just that it cannot be done while the boss is actively on the loop. Like you can do it before the boss or after the boss. 
but not while the boss is sitting there at the town. Okay, I completely butchered the I and I file to see if it'll make it so I can do this without even trying. I don't feel like actually playing the game and running through, you know, like like multiple runs, two to four, six hours, whatever, trying to do this to make sure that I get it. I'm just going to cheat and see if it works. They should all have zero HP or something like that. And uh, I'm just going to see what happens with this character where I cheated to make my base armor give me 50,000. Okay, so one HP. One HP, one HP, but this guy still has 16,000. Also, I cheated to make my attack speed like a trillion and my stamina like a trillion. So, <laughs> that's what it's gonna look like! Uh, oh god, I'm oh, sorry, that was, I, oh my god. Those are some cheats right there. Okay, well, either way, if you want to do it legitimately, be my guest. I am burnout. I don't feel like doing it legitimately. I am sorry. They are really, really hard. You have to actually try and, and oh, it's tough. Okay, it's tough. Uh, also, they sort of scale with loop. So, like, if you go into loop level 4, they're just going to kick your ass, basically. Uh, but if you go into loop level 25, they're going to be way stronger. So, it's like, it, it's it's a tough fight. It's a real tough fight. Anyway, let me read the dialogue for you guys. This is what happens when you win. <clears throat> hmm. Was this foreseen at all? We did leave some back doors. Everything is fair. We wouldn't be having this conversation if it wasn't for... That's not the question. What are we going to do now? Speaking of questions... As I recall, I do have a few, and now I've earned the answers. So that's how it is. It seems that we have no other choice. You're right. One should learn to concede. But we don't have to learn it now. And back to the menu. I was supposed to get to see the actual slow, you know, the speed it was supposed to go. But uh, So that is the secret final fourth boss Easter egg uh, dev fight that you're going to do in this game. Uh, if you don't know how to do it, then you might never even know it exists. But that was the dev fight. That is like the true ending, the true final boss. That boss is 10 million times harder than the normal final boss of this game. So uh, if you wanted to 100% this game and do everything there is to do in this game, do not miss out on beating that boss. That is a challenge that will be very fun for you to try to do. Uh, it might take a while. But it is definitely a fun challenge to set for yourself. And now you know how to find, how to summon, and how to, like, what's going on, and how to do the fourth secret boss in Loop Hero. If this video helped you, consider helping us by subscribing to our channel. Tap this button over here and hit the red subscribe button. Subscriptions help a lot, even if you never watch our videos again. Ha 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 ha!